am I nervous for this? Hello. Let's just get cozy here for a second. I've never filmed anything like this before. This is weird, man. Do I need it more? No, you guys can see. You can see my books. How cute. You can see my little floral arrangement I got going on here. That's cute, eh? Let's sit back cross-legged on this chair because that's, that's a bit of me. Welcome to today's video. Now, this is an incredibly formal setup. I don't think I've ever been to this much effort for a video full stop. We've got the ring light out, which is very bright but if I turn it off we're gonna be in the dark have my podcasting mic I haven't broken this out in a while it's been a minute the reason we have this formal setup today is because the day I'm posting this is hopefully if I'm organized it's gonna be my 22nd birthday which is actually a week from today but we're organized we're pre-filming things here because I'm gonna be overseas for my birthday which is very exciting 22 things I learned at 22 this is one of my favorite videos so I started my YouTube channel when I was 16 and I've tried to film a version of this every single year. It hasn't happened every year, but it's happened most years. I try and take a different creative avenue every time I produce one of these videos. It's just an opportunity for me to be creative and I love that. And I was sitting back last week and I was like, what could I do? Because like, not gonna lie, my 21 things I learned at 21, if you haven't seen that video, set the bar pretty high. In my 21st year on this earth, I have thoroughly enjoyed listening to podcasts and I was like, let's just turn this into a little like podcast type setup. If you're watching this right now and you like to listen to podcasts and multitask at the same time by all means go off do what you need to do do your cleaning do your whatever you do while you listen to podcasts be my guest is this the start of a podcast for emma stevens i don't know why i said my full name like that that sounded really weird is this the start of a podcast for me honestly if you guys enjoy this maybe like i would love to start a podcast but you guys are going to be the ones that make it happen so you got to tell me if that's what we want this has not debuted on youtube yet but i am currently sitting in my bedroom you can probably tell because of my heinous blue curtains 22 with blue curtains that's stunning i'm in the corner of my room right now i have posted about this on tiktok and instagram but i have got a little book nook this is my book nook this is where i sit and read my bible in the morning i love it it's it's so good my little book nook is today my little makeshift podcast studio i'm getting so sidetracked this is what happens when you give me a microphone i just start talking and then i forget what i'm here for here for here what in the american was that so anyway the purpose of today's video is uh 22 things i have learned at 22 so it's gonna get serious but not yet because i I don't do serious very well. Traditionally, for these videos, I just rattle off like X amount of things that I've learnt depending on how old I am. Which, I am going to do that. But before we get serious, we need to just like take a step back and just be a little bit less serious. Not only will I be sharing with you 22 things I've learned at 22 in terms of life lessons, but I will also be sharing 22 fun facts that I've learned at 22. Which I feel like this is payback for the amount of times that I shove a camera in someone's face when they're new to the vlog and I go, tell me three fun facts about yourself. No one wants to tell the camera three fun facts about themselves, but I always get them out of the people. So you're welcome. Today, I will be making up for that and I will be sharing 22 fun facts about not myself, but just things that I've learned while I've been 21. See, that's the thing. This whole 22 things I've learned at 22, I find it kind of confusing because it's like, yeah, I'm 22 and this is 22 things I've learned. But I guess that does make sense, actually. Never mind. Never mind. It makes perfect sense. In true organized fashion, I have a little notes app thing here that I've been working on since the 20th of February because I realized that uh, this video was coming around very rapidly and I did not have anything written down. So there's been a lot of prayer that has gone into this list because I needed the Holy Spirit himself. Before we jump into the serious stuff, we will start with the fun facts. 22 fun facts I've learned this year. Also bearing in mind, I uh, traveled to North Queensland last year or as a 21 year old, I traveled to North Queensland and I actually, that's, that's why it doesn't make sense. I'm saying 22 things I learned at 22, when in reality, these 22 things, I actually learnt them as a 21 year old. We won't go into the, we won't go into the finer details. We'll just, that's fine. From the top. So you know how currently 2024, we're in a leap year. And like, I understand the concept of leap years. They happen every four years. That's great. But did I really understand why they happen every four years? No. I just, I'm like, yeah, cool. Extra day in February. Great. I learned in a casual conversation. You just said that so casually. Like, was I supposed to already know this? We have a leap year every four years because the way that our like calendar and time system works Every year is out by a quarter of a day. And so we have the extra day every four years to make up for the four quarter days. Mind blown. Fun fact number two, bananas. Like, yes, they grow on trees. And I don't know if this is just a North Queensland thing, but when they grow on trees, they grow in bags. It must be when they start to grow, they cover them with like a bag. And I don't know if it's to protect it from the elements or protect it from predators. I don't know. I don't know the why, but they do. 
Okay, this one I actually learned like last week. When you're changing gears in a manual, you take your foot all the way off the clutch before hitting the gas. That would have been so helpful to know like six years ago when I first started learning to drive manual. Fun fact number four, sugar cane, like sugar cane, like as it grows, like if you've ever seen a sugar cane plant, it kind of looks like a bit like maize almost. If you leave it, it flowers and it kind of looks like toy toy. Didn't know it did that. Fun fact number five, ghost crabs, which were also in North Queensland, they suck the moisture out of sand and then leave little balls of sand on the beach. Some of the beaches that we'd go to, like the whole beach would be covered in these tiny, like probably like half the size of your fingernail like pinky fingernail or like the size of a pea that's a good comparison like this as you know smaller than that they were tiny tiny little balls of sand oh this next one is a little bit morbid i'm sorry in 2023 i went to more funerals than i went to birthday parties and i learned fun fact number six that it's called a grave side not a grave site Fun fact number seven, coffee is a secret ingredient to a moist chocolate cake. And yes, you can use decaf coffee. I made a cake literally last week for my friend Morgan. It was her birthday. And I like literally just Googled like chocolate cake and I followed a Whitaker's recipe and I got to adding coffee and I was like, there's no way that I'm putting coffee in this cake. That's going to keep us up all night. And so I compromised and used decaf coffee. And it was like, to credit to the recipe, it was the best chocolate cake I've ever eaten in my life. Fun fact number eight. You can tag people in Instagram stories after you've posted the story. Shout out to Tejal for teaching me that. So when you've posted your story, you can go to like the little three dots in the corner. You can't like physically tag them, but you can mention them so they can reshare your story. <laughs> Fun fact number nine. It's quote unquote, not quote unquote. Wait, is that right? No, I'm confused. Do I need to fact check myself here? Quote unquote. No, it is quote unquote, isn't it? Quote, it's quote unquote. Oh my, never mind. Oh man, I messed that up big time. Okay, never mind. Um, it's... <laughs> This is, this is what I mean. We're learning things every day. It is quote unquote, not quote unquote. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> Fun fact number 10. Magnetic Island, also in North Queensland, isn't actually magnetic. It's just called that because they thought that it was back in the day, but it's not actually. Fun fact number 11. You can use a wooden chopstick or wooden spoon to test if the oil is hot enough in a pan before you like cook anything. So if you put your oil in the pan, you heat it up, if you stick the chopstick in the oil and it like bubbles around the bottom of the chopstick, that means that the oil's ready. Fun fact number 12, the perfect poached eggs take three minutes. You'll be pleased to know that I have perfected my poached eggs over the past few weeks and three minutes is fantastic. <laughs> oh, this next one, I'm embarrassed that it took me probably, I don't know, like 17 years to figure this out. Fun fact number 13. Brooke Fraser and Brooke Lidgetwood are the same person. The same person. Brooke Fraser, you know, there's something in the water. Yeah. Brooke Fraser is the same person as Brooke Lidgetwood. Features in like every single Hillsong worship song. They're the same person. So Brooke Fraser is her maiden name. And so that's like her mainstream music name. She still like performs under that name. But when she's doing her worship stuff, she uses her married name, which is Brooke Lidgetwood. So I've been listening to her music for years I don't even know. Fun fact number 14. Not all soy sauce tastes the same. I thought it was just like, it just tasted the way it did. No, absolutely not. It does not taste the same. Fun fact number 15. Houses in some parts of Australia have extra screws in their roofs because of the heat and cyclones. Fun fact number 16. 1% of people run a marathon in their life. That one I learned from TikTok. I don't actually know if it's... Like, it was one of the audios. Uh, I, don't, mm, I haven't actually fact-checked that one. Fun fact number 17. You can smell a pineapple to tell if it's ripe. So when you're at the supermarket or wherever and you're trying to pick out, like, a good pineapple, you can give it a sniff, like, through the skin. And if you can smell the sweetness through the skin, then you know that it's ready. Fun fact number 18. The sand on Whitehaven Beach is so white because it's nearly 99% silica. Fun fact number 19. When we eat lamb, it's actual lamb, not sheep. And now I know where my pet lambs went to when I was a kid. Fun fact number 20, you can load the weight anywhere on a plate loaded leg press. I learned this when I did a week of work experience in a gym prior to the Christmas just gone. And yeah, blew my mind. So you know like we have like a leg press, so you have like a pin loaded one and you have plate loaded ones. So for a plate loaded one, I'm pretty sure it's like the same for all of them. Like say you wanna put like a 20 kilo plate on, you can literally just stick one 20 kilo plate on rather than having to do a 10 on one side and a 10 on the other. 
Crazy. Fun fact number 21, umami is the fifth way to describe food aside from sweet, salty, bitter, and sour. So like typically when you describe food, you're either going to say it's sweet, it's salty, it's bitter, or it's sour. And if none of those words describe it, you kind of left a little bit speechless and you go, mmm, like that's yum, but you can't really pinpoint it. That's umami. And fun fact number 22, TikTok is a very good search engine. When this video comes out, I will probably be sitting in the restaurant that I found to go up to for dinner for my birthday from TikTok. I was talking to my friend Hannah this week and I was like, I need to find somewhere that we can go out for dinner for my birthday in Melbourne because she's going to be there too. And she's like, just search it up on TikTok. And I was like, you're a genius. Shout out to TikTok for actually being a decent search engine. Those are my 22 fun facts. Now we're going to pivot into a more serious tone. And we're going to go into some life lessons that I have learnt as a soon-to-be 22-year-old. Yeah, these are these are going to get quite serious quite quickly, so just uh, bear with me. My 21st year on this earth has been a... Like, although not much has changed in my life, I feel like a lot has changed in me. Like, it's almost palpable how much of a different person I am now compared to this time last year, which... I love, like God has just been working in signs and wonders and it's fantastic. But anyway, there's been a lot of lessons that have been learned along the way and I'm going to share 22 of those with you. Even if you just take one of these in your back pocket with you when you finish listening to this video, I will be stoked. Let's start from the top. Number one, the journey is often more important than the destination. I have a funny feeling this may have also featured in my 21 things I learned at 21 video. But it has been so true this past year. I would say my 21st year was just a journey. I feel like there wasn't really a destination. It was just a journey and I it was a great time. And I feel like if you're always striving for the destination, you're never going to be fulfilled because as soon as you reach that destination, you're going to be looking for the next thing. Whereas if you can enjoy the journey in between, if you can enjoy the process, because that is where you spend 99% of your time. If you can enjoy the journey, then it's going to make a massive difference. Number two, experiences are one of the best investments you can make. Nine times out of 10, they are time and money well spent. And I think especially that has rung so true in my 21st year on this earth when I was working full time, I had a little bit more disposable income. Investing that into experiences was amazing. Like the memories that I have are just oh, so good. So, so good. Number three, there's nothing cooler than being unapologetically yourself. If someone's going to love you, they need to love you for who you are, not who you are around them. That is something that God really put on my heart partway through this year when I was just like doing a little bit too much to, I don't even know how to describe this without sounding like a bit of an idiot, where I was just trying a little bit too hard. I was trying a little bit too hard and I was literally losing touch of who I was as a person. And God was like, Emma, why, what, what are you doing? <laughs> like, what are you actually doing? And I was like, you know what? Yeah, you're probably right. You've heard someone say this before. There is no one else on this earth like you. You have been created the way you are for a reason. And it is so important that we embrace who we are as a person and we don't try and be someone that we're not and the thing is you want people to love you for who you are because you don't want to have this facade up 24 7 like that is that sounds exhausting number four don't sweep things under the rug it'll only lead to bigger problems later on <laughs> oh gosh that is a lesson that I learned while I was a 21 year old I feel like I was just like sweeping things under the rug and then the rug was just like getting to the point where the rug wasn't even touching the floor anymore and you're only gonna have to deal with that later on so just don't sweep this sort them out don't just sweep things under the rug. Just sort it out, deal with it, and let it be gone. Number five, you'll never be worse off for following God's lead. I feel like that's pretty self-explanatory. He knows what he's doing. You don't really know what you're doing, so just let him lead you. Number six, it's okay to not know the answer. It's also okay to ask questions. I used to be so afraid of asking questions. Not, I don't really know why. I guess out of the fear of looking stupid. You look even more stupid if you don't ask the question and you get it wrong later on. It's like, bro, why don't you ask the question in the first place? And it's like, I don't know. Number seven, when God closes a door and you stick around trying to open it, you're missing out on what God has for you elsewhere. Closed doors are also just as good as open doors. That is so very true. There have definitely been times where I've like stuck around like, God, like, let's just open this door. Let's just go in here, like check it out. And he's like, no, Emma, that's not for you. And you stand there trying to open that door. There's something else going on that you're missing out on. So don't waste your time move along and also closed doors are just as good as open doors for that exact same reason when the door is closed it means you're not wasting your time going down an avenue that god has not intended for you number eight listening is more important than speaking 
and it is something that I'm working on. <laughs> Number nine, just like you need to deload your body, it's important to deload your mind. Rest doesn't need to be earned, it's a necessity. God rested too. My rest has been such a strong conviction on my heart this year and it is something like it's a work in progress, I'm not gonna lie. I'm good at resting in my like exercise, like I make sure that I have rest days but then I don't give my mind a chance to rest and when your mind is so busy, like the devil wants to keep you busy so that you can't hear what God has to say to you and so I feel like I need to just like chill out, rest, let God speak, let myself recharge and then I can come back and be more purposeful and well I just had something so good to say and it just it's gone. That also links into in my 22nd year I really want to start being really strict isn't the right word really intentional about taking a sabbath because I did it a few like I've done it a few times in the past few months and it has been fantastic and I need to set some better boundaries to make sure that that is happening. Watch the space. <laughs> Number 10, the resistance of instant gratification creates a level of self-control like no other. Like for example, I work from home and I might be in the middle of doing like my work and I'm like, I want to go play guitar. And I know it sounds silly, but like, I'm like I want to go play guitar like right this precise second and it's like no Emma you're literally in the middle of your work day you can't just go and play guitar on my break when I actually get a chance to play guitar it's like it's great I love it it just makes it so much more worth it you know that's a really basic example but like you guys get the idea number 11 there is no such thing as a negative outcome from prayer what's that bible verse that's like a father would never like oh what is it something about like your kid asked for something and you wouldn't like give them a scorpion when we ask for something from God he's not going to give us something worse in return number 12 saying yes to trying new things and breaking out of routine provides opportunities to meet new people and learn new things in this stage of life where i am at the moment where for the past well year at least i have been living at home i've been working at home i haven't been around my friends as much as i'd like to be it's been like a real test of my like ability to push myself out of my comfort zone and when i meet new people and i try new things that is when I see massive growth in myself as a person and it's something that I am continually trying to do is meet new people and try new things. So much so that I've actually started a list in 2024, I like a running tally of all the people that I've met this year. And so currently the list has like 35 people on it, which honestly not a bad effort. It's going to be really cool to look back at the end of the year and be like, wow, wow, she pushed herself out of the comfort zone a little bit. Number 13, your output is determined by your relationship with God. This is something, I think I heard this in a podcast and it's actually, I have it on like a note on my my lock screen on my laptop it is so true like how close you are with him how much you're leaning into his word how much you're turning to him in prayer how much you're spending your time praising and worshiping him and really leaning into what he has for you is going to determine your output like everything is just so much better when you're walking close to god you know number 14 when we experience new things and go different places it creates more space in our mind to think new thoughts this one i don't know how to explain this because i don't know if this is like a common thing or whether my mind is just like working in weird ways but like for example in 2023 I went to North Queensland for the first time which I've talked about a million times in this video already I'm so sorry it was a great trip I have never been to North Queensland before and so it was like everywhere I was going it was new it was fresh it was sights that I hadn't seen before and coming out of that trip I find like when I'm I don't know if daydreaming is the right word but when I'm kind of just like chilling just like I'm going about my day I fill my mind with just like random visuals of like places I've been, people I've seen, and it's kind of just like the the white noise at like the background in my mind. And like I just like transport myself back to these places just like in the day to day. I'm doing a really poor job of explaining this. If you know, you know. <laughs> Number 15, there's no such thing as a boring testimony. It's evidence that by God's grace, we're not the same people we used to be. I had a bit of a conviction earlier this year actually, where I was like, my testimony is so boring. Like, I grew up in a Christian family, stopped going to church, came back to God, have a personal relationship. Like, cool. That's not boring. That shows God's faithfulness through the generations. And it's, yeah, by God's grace, I'm not the same person I used to be. And I actually had someone comment on my TikTok today that they used to watch my YouTube videos when I was, when I was in high school and they were, like, amazed to see how, like, far I'd come as a person. And I was like, that is the biggest compliment. Like, Thank you. Like, sincerely, thank you. <laughs> Number 16, we all have the exact same hours in a day. You're a byproduct of how you choose to spend those hours. A bit of a, like a perspective thing when I realize like I'm an adult. I can, to an extent, I can kind of do whatever I want with my 
24 hours of my day and you become a byproduct of what you choose to spend those hours doing like there's no right or wrong way but you just become a byproduct of how you choose to spend those hours number 17 quality over quantity in all areas of life number 18 win the morning win the day I know that that like is such a sarcastic saying and I say it all the time in the most sarcastic tone but like genuinely your morning sets you up for the rest of the day win the morning win the day. Number 19, you miss 100% of the opportunities that you don't take. I feel like I'm getting better at saying yes to more things, but like only to an extent. Like I'm not going to say yes to everything and then burn myself out, but like saying yes to things, especially things that push me out of my comfort zone. Number 20, the biggest inconveniences can bing, can bing? Who uses bing? Not me. The biggest inconveniences can bring the biggest blessing. And in brackets here, I have missing flight. So... <laughs> Back to the Queensland trip. So in 2023, I went on my lovely holiday. I was flying by myself. My parents were there before me and they were staying on after me. So I flew by myself over there. That was great. And then I flew home by myself, which was not so great. Flying there, I flew to an international airport. My parents picked me up and that was great. But we did a bit of a road trip. So by the time it came time for me to leave, I had to leave from, go from a domestic airport to an international airport and then to New Zealand. I don't think I've actually told the story in the vlog. Anyway. Mm, you're getting the story now so I got dropped off at the airport by my parents and then they were carrying on driving they they weren't hanging around they were off and I was like that's fine I'm I'm a big girl I can take care of this went through got on the plane all is well and good and then there's a problem with the plane and it can't take off so we get off the plane I'm stuck in the airport for like two hours meanwhile I'm looking at my clock because I have a connecting flight that I'm meant to be catching in Sydney by the time we get on the plane to go to Sydney I realize I've I've missed my flight like I'm not going home tonight and my flight out of Sydney was a late flight anyway I wasn't going to get back to Auckland till midnight I arrive in Sydney and I watch my plane that I'm meant to be on taking off as we're landing bear in mind I'm still by myself and I don't have anywhere to stay I don't know anyone in Sydney so I'm at the airport with my bag and no flight home not knowing what to do I am I'm freaking out slightly but I know that's gonna be okay but then I remember the jet stars looking after me so I start freaking out again but then anyway they arrange a flight for me the next day they arrange a hotel for me they arrange an Uber Eats voucher for me all is well and good I get to a hotel realize I'm staying in a hotel by myself I've never done that before so that was a first I arrive at the hotel at like 10 p.m. my Uber Eats arrives and by the time that it all happens, I don't get to bed like 11 p.m. But Jetstar so kindly put me on the 4, no, 6 a.m. flight out the next day. So I have to be up at 4 a.m., no, 3.30 to go to the airport. So I'm running on next to no sleep. If you know me, mm, that's not good. Hop on the plane. The sun isn't even up yet. As we are taking off, the sun rises and it is the most beautiful sunrise I've ever seen in my life. And that was when I knew God had me there for a reason because that was such a blessing that is just a very random example of how inconveniences can end up being blessings number 21 the moment you stop saying just this or just that you become way more assertive and confident in what you're saying this is something i've tried to do especially in my emails at work where you might be like oh i'm just checking in no take out the just i'm checking in you are assertive you know exactly what you're doing you're not just doing this or just doing that you know exactly what you're doing and last but not least number 22 if you believe you can do something consider it done this is no law of attraction manifestation thing absolutely not this is more like if like for example i went for an eight kilometer run the other day and going into that run i had the mindset you know what i can do this of course i can do this because i already agreed in my mind i can do this of course i can do it if i'd gone into that run and be like i can't do this no I wouldn't have been able to do it. That is 22 fun facts and 22 things I learned at 22. You are welcome. Thank you guys so much for listening in and thank you so much for being a part of my life and letting me make silly little videos like this. This is, I love it. That's so much fun. <laughs> I hope that you could take away at least one thing from this video. If you enjoyed the style of video, let me know. If you didn't enjoy it, just please don't let me know. I'll just be looking for the positive reinforcement, not the negative. <laughs> but stay safe, stay well, make someone smile and I'll see you in my next video. <laughs>